So it's 12-12. Mike is pissed, too. What's going on, guys? It's Quizzy Dog back again for another, another episode of Until Dawn. Now, this is probably the most requested and the most anticipated game that I've done on this channel. So thank you guys so much for enjoying it and for giving me the motivation to keep going. Um, without further ado, with all that being said, let's get right into a new episode, guys. All right, so we are controlling Ashley as she walks in circles. So, <laughs> in the last episode, guys, hold on. You think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? It's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to like have a seance. Maybe we went too far. So yeah, just what they said. In the last episode, we played with the Ouija board, and there was some freaky chick in the doorway, which fucking scared me, and, uh, yeah, something's going down. Whoa, 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 what is this? Are you okay? I think so. Look. What? There was something behind the books. What is that? Is it a button? Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. That is true. Oh. And the oh. secret doorway presents itself. Are we like in a movie right now? If we are, I hope it's around, Cal. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house? I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is super old. So, should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 no. You go. Gee, thanks. So before we do that, is there anything in this room that we need to take a look at? There doesn't appear to be, but... I really don't want to miss any totems or anything like that that might... What was that? Ugh. Fucking spider. Gross. There's another photo. What? Let's turn that around. Whoa. I will take them and bleed them like pigs and rip their soft white skin off. Fucking 16 years. 16 years I waited for pretty little Hannah and Beth. That is fucking dark. Holy shit. So let's look at these further. So is that two? I guess I haven't checked these in a while. Oh god, that's creepy as shit. And yeah, then there was the pig head as well. Lord of the Flies shit right there. Holy cow. No, we're gonna be honest with Ashley. And now Ash, I, I, She's smart, I she can handle it, I think. Out, but, but look at this. What? Chris, what is that? I... I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris! This is serious. We need to find Josh right now. Ooh, there's some bad anti-aliasing on the her hat just now. Uh, there's nothing else in there, I don't believe. But I do want to double check Ashley. Ashley, get out of my way. I know you're scared. So there is like a tiki mask back there, but I can't get it. Oh, that door opened. Uh, what was that? Do you think someone was actually after Hannah and Beth? If so, that would be really messed what, up. What room is this? The kitchen? Oh no, this is the entrance. 
Do we go outside? So the door's locked or frozen. I'm actually surprised he didn't comment on that at all. So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? That there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? It's exactly what he's saying. On this answering machine I found, and it, it, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who just got out of prison and that there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. <sighs> Gotta hydrate. Was that guy I told you about. Wait, 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 what guy? Getting ready for the jump scares. The guy who threatened the Washingtons. And he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. <laughs> you hear that? That was Josh. Coming from the kitchen. <laughs> Josh! Josh! Coming. Whoa. Ashley! Ashley, what's going on? Shit. Ashley! I'm gonna... Come on, dude. You can't be a fucking wiener all your life. Ash? Ash? Hey. Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. We had saw that, if you guys remember, in episode two or three, maybe? Uh, the totem actually foretold her being punched in the face by that guy. Now, it looks like he's setting something up. I saw kind of like a sign with an arrow on it. Now, I'm just trying to think of who's there to find them. I'm back with the doctor and the beating heart in the jar. Hi. Are you going to talk? I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. Right. But maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Is he going to make me choose me which ones I like more? From each pair you like the most. Fly. Take your time. Your answers are important. Fuck, I like both of those people. But Josh is kind of creepy just a little bit. I do like Sam. She's probably my favorite character. Uh, fuck Emily. We're going to pick Matt on that one. Um, I also really like Ashley. She's just a good hometown girl. She's the only one that's not a slut, too. Uh, Jessica's a fucking idiot, so we're gonna go with Mike. Though I don't really like Mike either, he's pretty funny. Uh, Josh over Emily. Um, Chris over Jessica. Jessica's really fucking whiny, guys. What you thinking, buddy? In this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? <sighs> well, that's obvious. Bye-bye, Emily. It's been nice. Often the lack of confidence manifests itself as overconfidence. Think about that. Is that not just a little bit like... Nope, session's over. Once again... Afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. Here we go, loyalty time. 
Seven hours until dawn. So here we are back with Mike, and Jessica just got ripped out the window after her phone got thrown through and it was playing some music. We are trying to fuck, basically, and that didn't happen. Mike also should have put on a jacket. You're gonna get cold, buddy. Um, risk the shortcut. There's gonna be some QTEs here, I know it. Fuck! No, shit. Now I'm all cold. I'm gonna get hypothermia. Jessica! Oh, I wonder if the gun's not gonna work Jessica! now since it got cold and, and wet. Why can't you pan the gun better, Mike? We could have got that shot off. Instead, you would have just rather watch her get drug away. I'm not taking two risks. I'd rather lose Jessica than Mike. Because though he's kind of a douche, I do need one really strong character, and I don't feel that character is going to be Chris or Matt. I mean, Matt's a nice guy, and he talks a tough game, but I mean, if it comes down to there being like a fight scene or something, uh, oh, fuck me. I don't think he's got it in him. God damn it, why can't I QTE today? There we go. Um, we're gonna jump. Oh, thank God I fucking got that one and that one. All right, hopefully taking the long way benefited somebody. Where is this? Are we going back to the mines? Must be. Man, I got dirty. Oh shit, I think Mike's gonna lose some fingers. If you guys remember the other totem, there was the saw blade. Somebody loses fingers. I thought it was going to be Matt, but. Now think it's going to be Mike. Jessica, I'm coming. I'm coming. If you're so concerned, you should probably learn to walk a little bit faster. And by that I mean run. Jessica! Yeah, I knew there was gonna be a totem around here somewhere. What's it gonna be? I find a wolf? And Jacob's coming to save us? Twilight reference. Don't hold that against me, guys. Uh, we'll watch all of those later. Faster, Mike. Okay, so it's going to make me go into the elevator. 
Uh, uh oh. No! Oh, oh fuck. God. Jessica. So that oh, extra Jessica. second that it took oh, to fish Jessica. ourselves out of the water killed Jessica. Just leave it, Mike. Don't uh don't go down. Take your gun and get the fuck out of there. What? Are you still recording? Yes. <laughs> Alright, who'd I shoot? So it's 12-12. Mike is pissed too. He's gonna get this guy. We're going quick. I have my QTE fingers ready, guys. We're gonna be focused. We're gonna get this done. Oh my god, these are going so fast though. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. And I honestly don't think we're going very much faster going the fast way. Instead, it's just giving us like 30 QTEs that I'm eventually going to fail and kill Mike. I think that's your buddy, dude. Do we shoot him? What the? Come on, come on, so there's one bullet. We fucked that up. I just gotta make it. Oh god, he's gonna get chopped in half, isn't he? I bet he would have. How do we have missed that? This is getting intense. Now the crazy thing is too, I had made mention before that we kind of were foretold of that loss in maybe episode 2. That was like two hours ago, so it really takes a while to get to some of these decisions. Now, this looks to be the sanatorium. Sanitarium, whatever you want to call it. Maybe that is the killer. Oh shit, I forgot it's the Ouija board. It's super serial, guys.